Nanchuan, which literally means southern feast, is a style of martial arts that is popular south of the Yangtze River. In fact, Nanchuan is a rather loose term covering a wide variety of different styles. Generally, though, in Nanchuan combat takes place at close quarters. Every year, Xinhua County, which lies in the Meishan Mountains region of Hunan Province, hosts a martial arts tournament. This year, a surprise contestant is taking part. He is Xiao Wei, a national champion, and he is intent on denting the local pride in being a town of martial artists. Xinhua County is one of the places where Nan Chuan or Southern Star Boxing originated. The Meishan School of Nan Chuan is well known across China. In every village in the region, whatever the season, people can be seen practicing. Almost anything can serve as training aid: rice, yellow beans, even stones. A 50-kilogram stone roller, for instance, is ideal for increasing the power in the snatch. Carrying heavy loads improves what is known as the light force. It strengthens the feet and legs so that the body feels lighter, ultimately as light as a bird. Then it becomes possible to walk on walls and roofs. Xiao Wei is a student at the university in Wuhan. His interest in martial arts started with the story he once heard about Mei Shan. In 1751, people from Xinhua County were working at a dock in Wuhan, as wood and coal merchants. The trouble was. That a gang of Wuhan thugs was trying to force them out of business by bullying them. The Xinhua merchants appealed for help to a martial arts master from their hometown, and he quickly dealt with the thugs. At the time, Xinhua County was under the administration of Baoqing Prefecture. The Wuhan people so admired the martial arts master from Xinhua that the dock where the Xinhua merchants worked was renamed Baoqing Dock. The story encouraged Xiao Wei to take up martial arts. In 2002, he became champion of Chinese boxing and spearing at the International Traditional Martial Arts Tournament. He also took the gold medal for Chinese boxing at the 2004 National University Games. But his real interest was in the Meishan School, and after a phone call to the local association of martial arts, he was invited to come on a study tour to Xinhua. Yan Shizheng is one of the most respected martial arts masters in Meishan. Over the years, he has taught thousands of students. After learning of Xiao Wei's plan. Yan Shizheng decided to organize a trial among his students to select someone to compete against him. Three students emerge from the trial at the best. A final elimination is held, in which they choose a test to perform. The first chooses something called walking on the knife mountain. This involves walking barefoot up several knives that are tied to a 10-meter-long piece of wood. The second student performs running on the sea of fire. For this, several plowshares are heated until they are red hot. The student must run across them barefoot. 
This is a basic martial arts skill that students must practice a thousand times. The third student performs the stunt called knife hacking the body. Considerable courage is required to perform it, something that is a key feature of the Meishan School of Martial Arts. The student who performed running on the sea of fire eventually wins the right to take on Xiao Wei. He comes from a family that has lived among the Meishan mountains for generations. It's May, and Xiao Wei arrives in Xinhua. His hosts take him to the Riverside Tower, which is a popular local scenic spot. Beside the tower is a tea pavilion, where a tea party has been arranged for Xiao Wei. No sooner have they taken their seats than an old man who has been drinking tea suddenly stands up and goes outside. Using his long wooden pipe, he performs a series of Chinese boxing maneuvers. Each move represents a potentially fatal attack on the opponent. Xiao Wei realizes that his hosts are trying to intimidate him right from the very first day. Xiao Wei refuses to be overawed. He stands up and performs the boxing mantis routine from the traditional northern school of boxing. The range of the movements is wide and designed to keep the opponent at bay until the opportunity presents itself to launch a sudden, deadly attack. With his performance over, Xiao Wei takes his cup and sips from it. The owner of the tea pavilion comes forward and takes up a stool. It's a unique feature of the Meishan school that practitioners can use practically anything as a weapon of attack. Xiao Wei is amazed by what he sees. A place called the House of the Chiyo stands at the foot of a mountain. The Chiyo were a tribe that lived along the banks of the Yellow River in North China around 5,000 years ago. Defeated in battle by the combined forces of the Yan and Huang tribes, the Chiyo fled south of the Yangtze. Some settled in the Meishan area. The locals insist that the stone tablet from the Qing dynasty once bore the words, House of the Chiyo. But centuries of exposure to nature have left the inscription illegible. However, a carefully taken rubbing does indeed review the words, House of Chiyo. In Chinese legend, Chiyo was a god of war who excelled at making weapons and loved to fight. It's hardly surprising, therefore, that the descendants of the Chiyo tribe should create a school of martial arts. Such were the fighting skill and spirit of the Meishan people that successive dynasties in northern China failed to conquer the area. It wasn't until 900 years ago that Meishan was finally subdued. And even then, the northern Sun imperial government succeeded only through a policy of appeasement. It was at that time that Xinhua County was established. The most important skill in Meishan martial arts is called Tongzi. It is designed to test a person's resilience to being beaten. In Tongzi, a fighter will first beat himself with wet bamboo and then with iron implements. The ultimate test is to remain resolute while sticks are breaking on his body. 
The martial arts contest is due to start. Yan Shijong's student, the one chosen to defend the honor of the home of martial arts, is practicing for his bout with Shao Wei. The Xinhua Martial Arts Tournament is held every May. This year, five teams are participating. There is a women's contest, as well as competitions for seniors and juniors. But the highlight of the gathering is the bout between Xiao Wei and the local champions. Everybody is eager to see it. A feature of the Northern School of Martial Arts is the wide range of movements, which requires enormous power in the legs. Proponents of the Southern Martial Arts School tend to be better at close-range fighting, trying to hold the opponent tight and launching attacks from close range. But Yan Shizheng's student is unable to get close to Xiao Wei and is thrown to the ground. Another student, Yang Yubun, enters the arena. After some warm-up moves, the bout begins. Xiao Wei is surprised because his opponent does not retaliate. His masterful demonstration of Tongzi eventually subdues Xiao Wei. In the end, Yan Shizheng himself enters the arena. He performs a series of Meishan boxing movements, which exemplify in their vigor and forcefulness, the beauty and strength of Meishan martial arts. <laughs> 